This is the true way of saving money. You know, you know those you know those ten dollar headphones you can purchase from Walmart. Today we are making a set of those headphones, but for way more. Ah, oh, crap. Looking at it like this, it really doesn't look very intimidating. There's not a whole lot of parts. We have the cushions for the ears, the audio drivers, aka speakers, a cable that goes in a phone with an audio jack. Good thing I don't have an iPhone. And all the 3D printed parts have been printed on the Orca Cygnus and the Tivo Flash. That bottom layer is looking blessed and they feel... They feel very solid, they look good. I went with this blue color and a slightly lighter blue on a couple of other parts. It may look a bit toyish. If it looks too stupid, I'll probably just reprint the parts in black and gray. The files for the 3D printed parts you can actually download completely for free. The hardware you can purchase individually from uh, from AliExpress, Banggood, Gearbest, whatever China site you, you prefer, or if you can find them locally, that would be even better. But there's also a website that allows you to buy the hardware stuff, the cushions, the speakers, any cable, as a kit. So you don't have to worry about ordering the wrong stuff. Change of plans. I really don't care for the blue color. So I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it with some matte black. Nothing will ever beat the stylish look of black and orange. Some of these parts just turn out plain fire. Really happy with the result. Here's how the headband looks. You can kind of still see the blue edges, which I think is kind of cool. So now it's uh, time to put this thing together. The next step is installing the speakers inside this compartment. You're supposed to make a knot to act as a strain relief. That's a very good design. And you're also supposed to be very careful with the speakers because the membrane is very fragile. Maybe you're supposed to glue this in place? And here comes the glue. Okay, the speakers are firmly in place with some epoxy and the last step should be the last step should be to just screw the side cushion into the speaker section. There's a thread on this side and there's a thread inside here. And there we go. And as you tighten this, it puts pressure on the side cushion so it's permanently in place. As of right now, I don't actually know which one is the right speaker and which one is the left, so we are actually going to use an app to identify... Left, right. Alright, so this is the left one. That's the right one. Sometimes what happens with cheap headphones is that the cushioning effect is pretty much non-existent. I'm hoping this is not going to be the case with these ones, as I am almost completely ready assembling these together. Just attaching the right speaker, we have these small locking mechanisms, it has a right on it, so we know which, which way is right and which one is left, and there we have them. This is the fully assembled 3D printed headphones.
From a distance, you can tell if these are the $10 headphones from Walmart or really high quality ones. They certainly look okay. The adjusters doesn't really scream high quality, but they do work. And there's a lot of flexibility to the headband. Okay, let's get some music going here, shall we? I don't know if on the real headphones they might have foam to encapsulate the sound better, but I think that sounds really well. That sounds really good. I gotta say, they, they stick really well to the head. I don't see myself going for a run with these. I don't ever see myself going for a run, but 3D printed headphones, who would have thought? Okay, thank you very much for, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Bye.